Welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime sports. Cricket is where we begin. Captain Robman Powell is among three Jamaicans included in the West Indies squad for the upcoming ICC T20 World Cup to be staged jointly in the Caribbean and the USA. The two other Jamaicans named to the squad are Brandon King and the experienced Andre Russell. Young fast bowling sensation Shamar Joseph, who has played only three T20s and is yet to make his international debut in the format, has also been included along with the fellow Guyanese Shimran Hetma. Hetma had quite literally missed his flight to the 2022 T20 World Cup, but has since returned to the fold for the Windies. Alzara Joseph has been named deputy to Powell, while Nicholas Perrin and Jason Holder all make the squad. The rest of the squad is completed by Johnson Charles, Roston Chase, Shea Hope, Akil Hussain, Gudakesh Moti, Nicholas Perrin, well, Sherfane Rutherford, and Romario Shepard. Barbadian all-rounder Kyle Mayers and the experienced Andre Fletcher are the notable omissions from the squad. Lead selector Desmond Haynes Look, sought to explain the rationale behind the squad chosen, including uh, the selection of Shamar Joseph and Hetmeyer. Uh, Shamar Joseph, you know, with his skills, you can't, you really can't question Shamar Joseph's skills. You saw him in Australia. Um, I think that uh, the role that, you know, we were looking at someone up front uh, bowling the first power play, and I think that uh, and he, he ticked the boxes for us. Um, it was a very close decision regarding the selection uh, between uh, Kyle and also uh, Hetty, but uh, we look at it from the point of view if we wanted the, the extra batsman to be the one batting down the order. In our two-time world, the two-time world champions, West Indies, are in Group C, along with the Papua New Guinea, Uganda, New Zealand, and Afghanistan. They'll begin their campaign on June 2 against Papua New Guinea in Guyana. Now, chasing 135 for victory, West Indies women were 106 uh, for one against Pakistan's women in the fifth and final T20 International in Karachi. Captain Haley Matthews was on 72, not out, and with her at the crease was uh, Shemaine Campbell on 26. This after 13.1 overs. Jamaica's Rashada Williams made 16. Earlier, Pakistan sent the band were restricted to 134 for 8 from their allotted 20 overs. Sidra Amin top scored with 48, while Maniba Ali made 25 and Aisha Zafar 22. Afil Fletcher claimed 3 for 17 and Kiana Joseph 2 for 26 for the Windies women. And there was also a wicket each for Ali Alain and Matthews. The Windies women, they lead at this, the uh, five-match series. 3-1. Jamaica's Khadija Shaw has been named the Footballer of the Year by the Football Writers Association in England. 27-year-old Shaw is the women's Super League top scorer this season with 21 goals in 18 games. The Jamaican star saw off competition from Chelsea's Lauren James to win the women's award with City teammate Alex Greenwood coming third. The striker who has been ruled out of the remainder of the season with a foot injury has helped City to a six-point lead atop the table. Shaw is the second City player to win the award since its creation in 2018 following Nikita Paris in 2019. Man City lead the, w, the WSL by six points with two games remaining. Meanwhile, another Man City player, Phil Foden, was named the Men's Footballer of the Year by the Football Writers Association. 23-year-old Foden has scored 24 goals and provided 10 assists in 50 appearances in all competitions for City this season. And the England midfielder received 42% of the votes for the Men's Award, beating Leckland Rice in second and City teammate Rodri in third. Of course, uh, Foden is the third Man City player uh, to win uh, the award since 2018. And, well, that is the final whistle for your midday sports. And I am Jeremy Brown. Shane, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. And that's the midday news. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news on behalf of the news, sports and production teams. Have a good afternoon.